It is the 11th of March 2013 and you're watching StarCraft 2 News of the Week. The invasion has begun with the new expansion, Heart of the Swarm. If you are as hyped as we are, you should check the latest battle report on balance. You will be pleased to know that the developers don't see any major issues right now with 7 Zerg, 13 Terran and 10 Protoss in Grandmaster. It makes the win-loss ratio pretty solid for each race. But then, if you're not interested in multiplayer and rather make a collector's type, then this video is for you. But only if you love spoilers. If you don't, close your eyes quickly. What's inside? Take a sneak peek at what will be waiting in your box. Even though Heart of the Swarm Invasion is in full motion, Blizzard doesn't forget about these who stayed with Wings of Liberty and has released patch 205. Global play is now live, which means players can now easily switch between regions via the new regions button on the StarCraft 2 login screen. Language and user interface won't change, but the profiles and ladder data are unique for each region. For more info, check the global play FAQ. From time to time we have to bring you sad news for StarCraft 2. IPL has made an official statement that due to the lack of resources, the sixth season of IGN Pro League has been cancelled. There is hope still, with the statement that they are looking for a new home for IPL team and IGN will continue to broadcast partner tournaments in future. If you purchase tickets for the event or reserve a hotel room at the Cosmopolitan, you will receive a full refund. But then, there are enough tournaments on the scene. Dreamhack has just revealed its dates for this year with a fancy trailer attached, as always. MLG is also in a great shape, bringing you an overview of the whole Winter Championship event. And if you are new to the scene or just didn't have the opportunity to watch MLG, they have released a short FAQ on how to watch it and where to find it. Remember Home Story Cup? If you do, you haven't been there. Players competing with each other in home and friendly environment? Why not take it to the next level with the whole teams competing in the same way? 8 teams, 14 playdays and $20,000 prize money. Additionally, if you thought about a caster career, don't hesitate and contact Take TV via the registration form. Codesh has finished with great matches between Azubu Symbol against Samsung Khan Roro. The latter won 4-2 claiming the title of the GSL champion of Season 1. Kespa triumphs with their player claiming the victory. By the way, this also is the first time you can see a 6 minute broodling on broodling hot action in the finals, a sick ZVZ. Last this long. Yeah, I've I, seen broodling, broodling every now and then. Yeah, you see it occur, but this is just this has been going on for like five minutes. Yeah, this it's like a never-ending battle right now. IEM has concluded with the Koreans claiming top four spots. Yonghwa and MVP on the third. This time, first wasn't first, and Yoda claimed the title of Extreme Master of the World. The Zerg invades StarCraft Universe, but Team Liquid invades Europe, which means less cost, faster delivery for people from European Union. Read the full thread for info about store pricing, shipment info and all the goodies. Recently, Blizzard had to deal with a swarm of questions. Dustin Bowder and the whole crew were answering questions from fans. You can check the Ask Me Anything threads for yourself or wait for the full transcript of them to be posted on the official StarCraft2.com site. Esport grows rapidly with swarms of fans gathering around the world. Day 9, CEOs of MLG, Blizzard and EG, alongside with other well-respected figures from eSport and traditional sport, met at the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center. They talked about the phenomenon of eSports and its future. You can find the summary of this in a well-written blog post. Be sure to check it out. Even Sweden isn't safe from the overwhelming swarm. 
If you're Swedish or no Swedish, you'll be interested in the fact that on Television 4 Swedish channel a new esports show will be hosted. If you are not so fluent with the language of the Vikings, then you'll have to wait for an English show, but this definitely is hope for StarCraft 2. It seems that EG has lost monopoly on funny videos. Fanatic made a great welcoming clip for the new player Sasa. Is that a new trend on the scene? Thus we can conclude that the Swedish esports sensation is a result of a sheer genius by the government. And how would you like a tour around Axiom's new gaming house? For all the swarm lovers, if you're having troubles with the swarm management on the ladder, Team Liquid Strategy prepared an extensive guide for all the Zerg matchups. Sometimes doing math just pays back. Wonder how much? This video answers all of your questions and doubts about the life of a worker in a StarCraft 2. There's a new StarCraft episode with the interesting Ultralisk mechanic. If you can't stand the cartoony animations, maybe a StarCraft 2 NG based comedy? Kevin is an idiot, and uh, we, we're going to need to actually build some bunkers, I think. I'm kind of busy right now making all of these supply depots. I'm not sure we actually need any more supply depots, Stuart, and I'm, I'm not actually even sure why you're building so many supply depots. You can never have too many supply depots. Or are you in a mood for nostalgia mixed with some humor? Oh my gosh, it's If Aladdin doesn't work for you, maybe the Lion King? I know it sounds crazy, but soon you will praise me when at last I have finished to two. So the queen of the blade should be scared. Three, three, yeah. Be prepared. On a more serious note, if you missed the hottest action of GSL Code Season 1, here are some highlights. And just to remind you how awesome it was, here are even more highlights for IEM Katowice. Regular weekly news brought to you by Jegaisk TV. Subscribe for more and give us a thumbs up if you like the clip.